<laughs> Relax. Relax. You're ugly. Oh. Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to a game called Black. Therefore, viewer discretion is advised. I believe this is a visual novel. Let's see. Ah. Hide. Go away. Come closer. Wait. Whoop. Come closer. Keep your distance. Wait, what? Just a sec. Okay, I'm back. I just want to adjust the... Ooh, that's loud. I just wanted to adjust the game. Um, come close to keep your distance. Hide. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Oh boy. Hello. Who are you? Wow, this is different than I thought it would be. Come closer, keep your distance. Let's go ahead and save this now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to go home. What is this? Oh, okay, I get it. Eh. Who are you? Get away from me. Hi. What are these? Oh! It's. Uh oh. Uh oh, did I mess up the game? Okay, I think I fixed it. I hope it looks right. <laughs> so if you click if you click on come closer, that's like clicking on full screen. I like that. I like that. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Get away from me. Hi. Oh boy. Hi. Who are you? Uh get away from me. I'm uh, a man, a woman, no one. Uh. Will. What is a will? A man. I'm a man. Hmm. Am I dead? Where am I? Where's this place? Oh, see so you not. This place is here? Okay, where is here? Nothing. You don't talk much, do you? Oh boy. You have a nice smell. Ah. Oh. I, I really should go now. No, stay. Come. Go with him. No. Come. Ah. I don't have a choice. What do you want from? Uh, what do you want from me? Ah, dang it! I'm always, I start keep singing songs, trying to get freaking copyrighted. Eat. What is that? Ah. Uh, save it real quick. Chill. Uh, I'm not hungry. Eat. No. Uh. No. Why not? Insult him. Don't do that. Explain why. Because you can't force people to eat if they don't want to. Why? Because it's not <laughs> polite. He tosses the meat to you anyway. Okay. What is it? What kind of meat is this? Meat. Figured you'd say that. I don't know what to think about this place. I'll cook it so it doesn't rot. Do you mind if I cook it? Shrugging noise. Then I'll start a fire. All right. It moved. The smell is funny, but I have to say, it's not bad. Eat it. 
offer it to the creature. You want to try it? Yeah, get his stomach because he was the one that was hungry. Come on, here, take a piece. It's good. Come on, you know you want a little piece. Oh, Jesus. I stick the cooked meat on it. Oh. Oh. Don't say it. Are you alright? The thing. Creature. Uh. This out. I don't think he'll approve, or it will approve a thing or a creature. Run away. Say something. Ooh. Hey, everything okay? Oh, you didn't choke to death after all. You alright? What happened? Raw better. Oh, I saw what he said. I, I don't need it. He don't need to say it again. Or it. I saw. Hey! <laughs> Okay, this silence is eerie, but the creature seems to be willing to talk to me, to a certain degree. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. So he, it doesn't like kind meat. Be kind. This is a really nice place you have. A bit dark, but uh, nice. Ah, girl. Aren't you cold? Do you want to come near the fire? Shake's head. I saw it shake his head in the darkness. Are you afraid of the fire? Okay, I won't ask. But I will remember. Ah, nice juicy silence. Have you been living here long? Where are you from? That's not what I asked. Where are you from? Uh, tell the truth. I don't remember. Something is wrong with my memory. The last thing I recall is waking up amidst the rubble. And you? Here. Here is it. This is your home. <clears throat> How long have you been here? Long. Soon it'll get dark and cold. I warm my hands with the flames. What did I use to make a fire? You're ugly. Ah. Oh. Wow, so out of the blue. Thanks, I guess. But not scary. There are scarier things out there. What are you doing? Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, more scratching. Is he sharpening a blade? Yeah, up there. Yeah, I think so. Oh, frick! Sleep. No. No. The creature's gone. Flee, sleep. Mm. Mm. He said there's scarier things out there. He could be lying to me. Mm. But it could be telling the truth. And yeah, it might be safer to just stay here for now. Because he might not kill me. As He doesn't seem to like the fire. So if I sleep next to the fire, he might stay away from me. I shall save. There. I'll sleep. The dark came really fast, but there's no way I'm sleeping. He is probably waiting in the shadow for me to lower my guard, and then... POP! What? Kill me? Yes. Or... Eat me. Probably both. I need to find him into the cave. Better stay here. Yeah, stay here. That's fine. Yeah, it's the safest choice. No sense risking adventuring inside that dark cave. Ha ha. <laughs> I'll stay by the fire and be vigilant. If he tries anything, I can still defend myself with it. Woo! Oh no! What was that? The fire! Oh god. I grip one of the logs and start to wave it around blindly. Show yourself! Howard! What do you want from me? A man is good. Very, very good. Get away from me! Is he walking close? 
He's gone. What the? That's it. I need to find him. The coals are still hot. After blowing at them, the fire awakens once again. Your hands are shaking a little as you take up a log from the bonfire. Whoopsies. And then you enter the darkness. I feel tense, like a live wire. My insides are twisting. It's so dark. Oh boy. You're gonna see something. Oh, there it is. Jesus. You won't scare me. You already did. You won't scare me, you hear me? This ends now. It just started. I should be saving. There's a passage. Ooh, ooh, I just gotta chill on my shoulders. Uh, lake. At least I know I won't die of thirst. If I don't die of something else, like, was it? Is it Giardia? Don't drink. Don't just drink random water, kids. It's gross. I look around, but the darkness is too thick. It seems there's nothing here. I turn around, ready to enter the passage again. When suddenly. I see him, on the ground, sleeping, or pretending to. I barely heard back, hold back the urge to vomit. He is monstrous. It's the ugliest, most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> carefully, ever so carefully, I take his spear. Now armed, I know what I must do. Oh, God. I'll go with don't for the first time, because most likely this thing is going to kill me. He eats raw meat, and I'm about a 200 pounds worth of it. I look at him in the dark. He sleeps peacefully with a smile. Somewhat creepy, but he almost seems content. As ugly as this creature may be, he looks like a child. I hesitate, and he stirs in his sleeps. The light from the torch wakes him. Relax. Relax. Jesus. He immediately widens his eyes and jumps back into the darkness, hissing. He's patting the ground frantically, searching for his spear. Don't even think about that. I have your weapon. I grip the spear tighter, my heart exploding in my chest. Grr! Now give me a good reason not to kill you. He lunges at me. I brace for impact, but instead he runs past me into the tunnel. The tunnel leads me back to the bonfire. Wary, I scan my surroundings and woo, in search of him ready to attack. I don't know what you were trying to do before, but I'm not scared of you. I am. Understand? Come out. Silence. Look, I know you want to eat me, but it doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to be enemies. If you promise you won't attack me again, I'm willing to forget about it. We can start over. We can help each other. Wait, did he ever attack me? Did he ever attack me? As a sign of my good intentions, I let the spear fall to the ground. It's risky, but it's the only way. Ugh. What's your answer? I. My. Tummy. Aches. I've never eaten a will before. So maybe if I eat you, my belly won't hurt anymore. Ah, ah. You don't need to eat me to get better. On the contrary, it will get you even sicker. No, I tried everything else. I always puke. You are the only thing left to try. And that's why you're sick. You probably have some kind of indigestion or stomach virus. Eating random things won't cure you. You need medicine. Medicine. For how long have you been feeling like this? I'm a doctor now. A couple of days. Couldn't you find someone to help you? There's no one to ask. There's never been anyone here. Never. Until... You. I was thinking of eating you. It's true. But I didn't try to. Yet. This thing seems to have quite the control of the English language. I was treating him like he didn't understand. Thank God I didn't call him a thing or a creature. What? Don't lie, I clearly saw you and you just said there's no one else here. No one. Yes. Sit. Only them. Them. 
not those things. What things? They become your nightmares, your fears. I don't know how they do it, but they do. They can even get in here if you are not careful. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that there are creatures here who enter your thoughts and materialize your fears? <clears throat> so it wasn't you who tried to kill me, and I'm just imagining it. <clears throat> Oof. Wherever there's white, they can show you scary things. Have you not noticed that? Uh, I scoff. Incredulous. <coughs> All this situation seems too much absurd and discordant to me. Well, I am an intelligent fellow. Then why didn't you let me go outside and let them kill me if you were so afraid of me? I wanted to know you first. And now that you know me, what's the verdict? You seem nice. Mm. You could have let me know instead of being a jerk to me. <laughs> I wasn't. Forcing me to follow you, not answering questions, telling me I smell nice. Is that rude? You said it like you wanted to cook me and eat me as dessert. I should probably give him ideas. But you do. Alright, cool. I smell of sweat and dirt. <laughs> That's good. Well, compared to him, I might as well smell like a flowery meadow. But am I believing this? For the most part, why not? Alright, then what about that smile you gave me while sharpening your spear? My spear? I wasn't sharpening anything. Was it grinding his teeth together? He seems genuinely confused. Then what was that sound? He goes suddenly quiet. He seems hesitant. Almost timid. He brings a closed fist to his chest. Then he looks at you, quickly lowering his gaze again. Something rolls and stops short in front of you. What's this? It's some kind of wrapping. I pick it up. Inside there is a strange black stone. They are afraid of this color. If you paint your face and close with it, they'll leave you alone. Didn't you want to eat me? Mm. As if the answer to that question is almost too much for him. He leaves before you can say something else. Oh, interesting. And leaves the spear behind. I'm left here alone. Nice. I examine the rock in my hand and some sort of charcoal that leaves a sticky black powder on my skin, turning it pitch black. I'm about to toss the wrapping aside when at the last moment I realize that it's a paper folded in two. Opening it, I found something unexpected. A drawing. Sketched on it in a clear child fashion of two figures holding hands. The creature and I. He said he wanted to eat me! I don't trust this. I look at the drawing in my hands, at the charcoal, and then outside. It's still dark, but soon the sun will rise. Flee! Stay with him. Kill him! Huh. Well, I... Mm, stay. He's going to kill me. I step over the spear and go into the darkness. I should have saved it if I made the choice. I see him by a lake, crouched down with his feet dangling over the water, his arms around his belly, his back to me. Kid? He turns his eyes towards me. I extend my hand. He bites my hand. He slowly eats my arm. He's down to my leg. How am I still talking? He takes it. My memory is slowly starting to come back to me. I was a passenger on a ship flying towards a new home. We crash and no one else seems to have survived except me. The little guy confirmed it. Apparently he saw everything. He was investigating the wreckage when he found me. And now I know I was lucky that he did. I tried to ask him again where he comes from, or if we were on the same ship, but he can't answer me. He doesn't remember. I doubt we would be on the same ship, because I would remember a kid that looked like the most hideous thing I've ever seen. The only thing I know is that he came here many years ago. I suspect he might have even been born here and has been living here ever since. So how would he have gotten a... That don't make no sense. Alone. I still don't know what. Ooh. Or who caused the crash or my temporary amnesia. I don't even know if someone will ever come to find me. Maybe. I hope. But until then, I don't want to live my days in fear inside a cave. And neither does he. Sure, he is creepy. So much creepy that sometimes I wonder why I chose to stay. He 
He had those teeth, for instance, and that rough, cracked black skin with those luminescent eyes that in the dark looked really scary. But when he took my hand lovingly, like a child to a parent, I knew by the feeling in my heart that I did the right thing. He just needed someone to guide him, to protect him, to love him. And that someone was me. Kid, are you sure? Aren't you... Skirt? No. Why should I... Because whatever the, those mysterious things are, we'll face them. Together. Mostly you, because you have like the super speed and the shiny teeth and the spear. I'll stay back and like tell you what to do. Five of nine? Ay ay ay. Oh wow, look at that. Okay. Let's see how many endings I can get. Go away. Oh, go away is me going away. Oh, I get it. Frick. You know what? Maybe that was a that was poetic. Uh, uh, that happening. I'm just going to let that be. That was the ending I got. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I might come back to it if somebody asked me to or anything like that. But uh, to the next video. Bye. Watch my videos.